The literature review is a crucial part of any research project. It involves a comprehensive survey of existing research and literature related to your topic. This review helps you understand the current state of knowledge, identify gaps, and position your research within the broader academic context. Why is a literature review important? Contextualizes your research. It shows how your work fits into the existing body of knowledge. Identifies gaps. Helps you identify what has been studied and what needs further exploration. Avoids duplication. Ensures you are not repeating what has already been done. Builds credibility. Demonstrates your understanding of the field and your ability to critically engage with existing research. Define your research question. Clearly articulate what you are investigating. This will guide your literature search. Make sure your question is specific, measurable, and researchable. Plan your search. Identify keywords and databases relevant to your field. For social sciences, consider databases like JSTOR, PubMed, or Google Scholar. For computer science, IEEE Explore, ACM Digital Library, and AR14 are essential. Conduct the search. Use your keywords to find relevant literature. Take note of the most cited papers and influential authors in your area. Use Boolean operators to refine your search, e.g. and or not. Organize your findings. Create a system to organize your literature, such as a spreadsheet or reference management software like EndNote, Zotero, or Mendeley. Include details like the source, key findings, and relevance to your research question. When selecting sources, prioritize peer-reviewed journals. These offer high-quality, reliable research. Look for articles published in reputable journals. Seminal works, foundational papers that are widely cited in your field. These are often the most influential and provide a historical perspective. Recent studies, up-to-date research to ensure your review is current. Technology and theories evolve rapidly, especially in computer science. Summarize each source. Note the key findings, methodologies, and conclusions. Highlight how each study contributes to your understanding of the topic. Identify themes and patterns. Look for commonalities and differences across studies. Group the literature into themes or categories based on these patterns. Critically evaluate. Assess the strengths and weaknesses of each study. Consider the methodologies used, the sample size, and the reliability of the findings. Are there any biases or limitations? Introduction. Introduce the topic, the scope of your review, and its purpose. Explain why the topic is important and provide context for your research question. Body. Organize the literature into themes or categories. Each section should synthesize the findings from multiple sources. Thematic approach. Group studies by themes, such as different aspects of your research question. For example, in social sciences, themes might include social behavior, policy impacts, or cultural influences. In computer science, themes might include algorithms, user interfaces, or cybersecurity. Methodological approach. Compare and contrast the methodologies used in the literature. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each approach. Chronological approach. Discuss the development of research over time. Highlight how theories and technologies have evolved. Conclusion. Summarize the main findings, highlight gaps in the literature, and explain how your research will address these gaps. Provide a clear rationale for your study and its potential contributions to the field. Pitfall 1. Lack of focus. Ensure your review is focused on your research question. Avoid including irrelevant studies. Pitfall 2. Poor organization. Use clear headings and subheadings to organize your review. This makes it easier for readers to follow your argument. Pitfall 3. Descriptive rather than analytical. Don't just summarize studies, analyze and synthesize them. Discuss how the studies relate to each other and to your research question. Tip one, stay organized. Keep meticulous notes and use reference management tools. This will save you time and effort when writing your review. Tip two, be critical. Don't take findings at face value. Critically evaluate them. 
Consider the quality of the research and its relevance to your study. Tip 3. Seek feedback. Get input from peers or mentors to improve your review. They can provide valuable insights and identify areas for improvement. A well-conducted literature review is a cornerstone of successful research. It provides a solid foundation for your study, ensures you are informed about the current state of knowledge, and positions your research within the broader academic conversation. By following these steps and tips, you can produce a comprehensive and insightful literature review that will strengthen your research project. Good luck with your literature review and happy researching. Research is a fundamental part of your academic journey. Understanding research methodology is crucial for producing high quality work. Let's break down the basics. Research methodology is essentially the blueprint of your study. It outlines the methods and techniques you'll use to collect and analyze data. Think of it as a roadmap that guides your research from start to finish. There are two main types, qualitative and quantitative research. Qualitative research involves exploring behaviors, opinions, and motivations. It's more about understanding the why and how behind a phenomenon. Techniques include interviews, focus groups, and content analysis. Quantitative research focuses on numbers and statistical analysis. It answers what, where, and when. Surveys, experiments, and existing datasets are common methods here. Define your research question. Start with a clear, focused question. What do you want to find out? Literature review. Look at existing research. This helps you understand what's already known and identify gaps your research could fill. Choose your research design. Decide how you'll conduct your study. Will it be experimental, observational, or something else? Population and sample size. Define the population you are studying. Then determine your sample size, a subset of the population that represents the whole. Ensure your sample size is large enough to yield reliable results, but manageable within your resources. Sampling techniques. There are various sampling techniques. Random sampling. Every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. Stratified sampling. The population is divided into subgroups and samples are taken from each. Convenient sampling. Samples are taken from a group that is easy to reach. Data collection instruments. Choose the tools you'll use to gather data. Surveys and questionnaires. Useful for collecting quantitative data. Interviews and focus groups. Great for gathering qualitative insights. Observations. Recording behavior in a natural setting. Existing data. Using already available data sets for analysis. Data collection. Gather your data using the methods that best suit your research design. Data analysis. Analyze your data to find patterns or test your hypothesis. Use statistical tools for quantitative data and thematic analysis for qualitative data. Interpretation and conclusion. What do your findings mean? How do they answer your research question? Report your findings. Present your research in a clear and structured way. This usually involves writing a thesis or a research paper. Always consider the ethical aspects of your research. Ensure you have consent from participants, protect their privacy, and report your findings honestly. Stay organized. Keep track of your sources, data, and notes. Be critical. Evaluate your sources and data critically. Seek feedback. Don't hesitate to get input from peers or mentors. Remember, research is a journey. It might seem challenging, but with the right approach, you can produce valuable insights and contribute to your field. Good luck with your research and happy studying.